He won't need it. <laughs> All right, we get to make our song or match aside. Nice. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Big Brother's watching you, bitch! Ah! What's up, guys? This is Mike from Ragebreak Gaming, and let's go check out Narsh on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster. Yeah, viewers, let's go check out Narsh and see how it's faring these days. I heard Narsh is not looking too good. So, let's go check it out. And oh yeah, before you step into Narsh, make sure that you only have three party members in your party. Uh, there's a reason for this. So there you go. But yeah, on screen, I did some more grinding at the Dino Forest. God, that forest is super fucking sexy, viewers. Mwah, 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 mwah. Most sexiest place in the game to level grind. An AP grind, for that matter. Just, viewers, it's fabulous. It's, it, it. It's fucking fabulous by a uh, bad fail. <laughs> that being said, though, all right, now let's check out Narsh. Enough bullshit. Wow. Narsh is looking pretty foggy. It even has the um the first world of ruin um th map theme. Damn. If it has the first world of ruin map theme, you know shit is looking bad here. The adventuring school is still open. There's still that um that free healing pot in there. So yeah, free pot! Uh, no, no, not that pot. Uh, hey, Lone Wolf, you're still alive? Wow. I would think falling off a cliff would mean death, but uh, apparently not for this guy. Uh, haven't we met someplace before? Meh. Whatever. Nothing left in this town anyway, except that one lousy Moogle. What? Mug, Mug is here then. Doors are all locked and you have to be some kind of treasure hunter to get them open. Don't you mean thief? Huh. Well, he's gone. <laughs> I mean, he almost got killed trying, you know, kidnapping Mug and shit earlier in the game. He's like, oh, that Moogle is still here. Fuck you. <laughs> Yeah, fuck me? How about fuck you? Considering you fucking almost, you know what, never mind. In any case. Ah, so that's the trick. But yeah, as Lone Wolf said, you need a treasure hunter, <coughs> thief, <coughs> in order to unlock the door. So it's similar to like how it was back in Final Fantasy 3, in which you needed a thief in order to open some doors or these magic keys, as they were called back then. Nothing really magical about them. They just open doors. Now, technically, in real life, those master keys would be considered... What? No, no. Those magic keys would be considered master keys. Because they can open any door in the game. And or real life. So, there you go. Having that kind of key is broken now. I think those are only reserved for, like, people at the very top. Like, you know, like, law enforcement and shit. Or, like, master key smiths. You know what? I don't know. It really makes no difference. We're only really here for a few specific reasons. So yeah, but definitely you want to have lock in your party in order to open the doors, because obviously all the doors are locked. And oh yeah, viewers, there are monsters in town, by the way. Three specific monsters. I have my no encounters code on because they're all trash, and I don't feel like wasting time with them. Test Rider, 3,100 HP. He drops a heavy lance, and um, he's weak to poison. Most of the other enemies here are, 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 are just trash, so I'm not really mentioning them. In any case, is that the old man? Hmm. Remember last time, um, that guy at the cult of um, Kefka Tower, the cultist tower, said an old man here was looking for us. I wonder if he's the guy. I've been waiting for you. Uh, well, answer my question. I wanted to give you this. What? Magicite! I ran a weapon shop for 70 years, but I've never felt the power like the one I feel in this stone. If I were to grind it down into the shape of a blade, I'm sure it would be a very powerful weapon. What do you say? Should I make a sword out of it? Uh, Ragnarok, huh? Now, Virus, you have the option to turn it into a sword or just leave it as Magicite. If you leave it as Magicite, you'll get the Ragnarok, Mag um, or the Ragnarok Esper. Basically, summoning Ragnarok and battle will give you a chance of turning a monster into an item. You know, kind of like the morph command in Final Fantasy VII. Um, 
Um, but yeah, there are some uh, there are some really good items that you can use Ragnarok summon ability on. So in that regard, I don't recommend making a sword out of it. But if you decide to turn it into a sword, you'll get the well, obviously Ragnarok sword. It's strong, and if memory serves, it, I think it casts flare when used in battle. And it also can be exchanged at the Colosseum, I think, to get a more powerful weapon, the best sword in the game. So I leave that up to you to decide how you want to get Ragnarok. However, I'm going to get the Magicite. All right. And with that, we get the Ragnarok Magicite. It doesn't specifically say it, but you do get it. The nice thing about the Ragnarok Magicite um, is that it teaches Ultima! Unfortunately, it's only at a uh, times one acquisition rate. But if you grind in the Dino Forest, you'll get this in no fucking time. Ultima is the strongest black magic spell in the game. And needless to say, it's, it's a spell that you definitely want to start getting to work on. And unlike its counterpart in Final Fantasy II, which will, which will re remain not spoken until I do to that LP, or do that LP, um, this one is obviously way better. Um, oh, okay, good. I, I was about to say, is Terra, are you done with Flair yet? Yes, she is. I'm, I still have Strago working on Phoenix, so until then, I won't be able to get re-rise for Terra yet. And oh yeah, viewers, before we go back to the Cultist Tower, Make sure that all of your mages have the Arise and Rerise spells. Spe no, more so Rerise. This will be very pivotal in a boss fight there. Spoilers, boss fight. But, um, yeah. Pretty much in a nutshell. Alright, we got that. Let's see. There's an unmarked house that I want to go to next. Let's go check that out. I think that one is... There it is, up there. Alright, let's go check it out. Lock? Uh, oh. It's already open. <laughs> I. Right. In case. Oh, the Elder's House. You know what? Now that I think about it, where is the Elder? Where is Bannon at, for that matter? We have no idea where the fuck they are. I mean, once in the world of ruin, we don't know where the Elder is. More importantly, we don't know where the fuck Bannon is. Like, where is Bannon? I've been, like, I think somebody had asked me that once and stuff like that. It's like, we don't, like, I, I said, like, I don't know where he is. And really, I don't know where he is. Now, I assume Bannon died because we don't see him after our return to Vector and stuff like that, you know, when the Espers attacked back then, yeah, we don't see him after that point, so I assume he died during the Cataclysm, hmm, <coughs> here, take it, what is it, the curse shield, if only there were a way to lift the curse, it would be the finest shield in the game, the curse shield, huh, thanks old man, in the case we get the curse shield, the nice thing about it is that, well, there's nothing nice about it. It's a shield that inflicts status elements upon the bearer. However, there is a way to remove the curse from this shield. Now, you want to equip the curse shield and a ribbon. The ribbon, obviously, is to counter the status elements that the shield inflicts. The only status element that you can't block is the doom status. Fight 256 battles with the curse shield equipped, and it, it will eventually become the Paladin Shield, the best shield in the game, and all those battles can be split up between various party members. The Paladin Shield also teaches Ultima, so um, if you didn't get the Ragnarok um, Magicite, you can get it from the Paladin Shield. The problem is you have to fight 256 battles in order to fucking get it. And in all honesty, it's total shit because I can just grind out the AP in the Dino Forest. So that pretty much, in a nutshell, saves me that, that time right there. That being said, though, if you didn't get those items back from, you know, back in the treasure house down here, you can get them now. While you would wait, I have no idea. Is Ben, is Arvis here? Wow, Arvis isn't here either. Like, they're, like, all gone. Wow. Well, 
there you go. In any case, um, let's see. Okay, viewers, remember that little entrance that Locke um, used to take Terra out of Norse back at the beginning of the game? Well, we have to go back through there again. So, there you go. Yoink! Yeah, the passage is still intact, baby. In any case, we want to go through here because we need to see where we can find Mug. Now, I assume Mug might be in the same place. No, no, he's... Actually, no, he... He wasn't even in that place when we first left. Remember that cave that had all the Moogles in it, you know, that we saw earlier in the game? Yeah, I, I think Mug might be in there, so we just... We have to go and find him. Alright, bridge is out. <sighs> You guys remember that Yeti, right? That Yeti that we um, first or encountered during our trips to Norsh? Hmm, I wonder if there is a way to talk to the guy. If the Yeti can even talk, that is. That being said, though, this is where Terra fell through, remember? Ah, good times. Oh, yeah, the treasure chest! Yeah, I forgot! Yeah, viewers, these treasure chests that I told you guys not to open, we can open them now. Get an elixir. And we get the guard bracelet. See, aren't you glad I told you to wait? Huh, I know. That being said, though, um, guard bracelet. It is a rel. Ah, here it is. See, the guard bracelet pr casts protect and shell on the wearer. Wow, not bad. Not bad. Pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, there's the save point. But yeah, that was all the treasures that I did not open earlier. Alright, now we got those. Hmm. Okay, this is the part where we um, first met Mug um, at the beginning of the game. When he and his Moogle friends helped Locke to save Terra. So many memories. And it doesn't even feel like it's even been that long. Hmm. Mug! Hey, Koopo! Koopo Ball! I thought you all died, Koopo! I'm so glad you're alive, Koopo! Me too, little dude. Wow. I mean, I mean, we can't have our poster boy from the from the original box art be dead. Mug, come join us again, dude. I'll help you fight, Koopo. Awesome. Nice. Koopa boo. I bet the Yeti will come along too. He'll be a big help, Koopo. That Yeti dude? Uh, sure. All right, let's go find him then. He can be a little, uh, wildin'. Though, Kubo, he should be here in the mine somewhere. He'll help us if I order him to. Let's look for him, Kubo. Right. All right! <laughs> cool. Yeah, we got Mug back. Got a new achievement, too. Looking for friends, part three. Now, we got Mug, the Yeti guy, and another person there. I don't know who the other guy is. Yet. That being said, though, let's go re-equip Mug with all the good shit that we got. Nice. And oh yeah, there's still the matter of that dance. That final dance that we can get. Let's see. Now that I think about it, the only one, the only dance that the, I did not get from Mug yet. Uh, snowman Jazz. Alright, let's see. I think we, I think we can learn it right here. Actually, no, we can. I think we can learn it on the cliffs. I think. Hmm. I think so. All right, perfect. Well, yeah, um, that dance we can only get it in the world of ruin. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to re-equip Mug with all his best stuff real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, viewers of Mac, I, I re, or rather, I, I guess I can say re-equip because it's been a while since I. Got mug. In any case, I equipped him with the dragon horn and the dragoon boots because I'm gonna try those out. Someone said that the combo is actually pretty good. So, yeah, shout out to that guy. You know who you are. That being said, though, uh, if you check the wall where mug was standing, you'll get the Malulu's charm. And no, there's no big tits on it. <laughs> no, no, no. Malulu, get it? Lulu? Never mind. That being said, though, Malulu's charm is actually pretty good. The nice thing is, it prevents all random encounters. So basically, a no encounters code in relic form. 
The problem is you have to have it on all the time if you want to utilize it that way. Luckily, I don't have to do that. <laughs> now, um, now that we got Mug, and oh yeah, the treasure chest that contained this, I think it was the room blade here. I think that I, I think that got upgraded, but I don't know. I don't remember what was in it. Man, whatever. Oh yeah, viewers, that um, McCool, um, Morikomo, um, katana that we got from the Red Dragon back at the Phoenix Cave. You can bet that at the Coliseum for a Holy Lands. Just wanted to let you know. All right, um, we have to leave Narsh and go through the northern section into the cliffs again. Basically, what we need to do now is, in order to find where the Yeti is, we need to go to do the northern part of the cliffs, basically where we originally originally found the Frozen Esper at the beginning of the game, with Terra and Biggs and Wedge, remember? But yeah, now we have to go through the other caves, and just like how we got to the cliffs where we fought Kefka, remember, before Terra went berserk? That's where we need to go. I'll meet you at the cliffs. I'll be right back. All right, viewers of Mac, woohoo! I finally learned Mac's final dance, Snowman Rondo. It was called Snowman Jazz or something like that back in the day. All right! Noise. I learned it in the first battle I got to right as soon as I got on the cliff. Nice, very nice. All right, not bad, not bad. All right, viewers of Mac, now before we head up here, make sure to equip somebody with the Phantom Esper. There's a reason for this. That being said, though, if viewers, check it. This is the area where we fought Kefka earlier, remember? Yeah. However, look who's wandering around. It's another dragon! And it's Spyro! No, that actually is not Spyro. Judging by the terrain, I assume that's the Ice Dragon. Seeing as he's literally in an icy area, it would make sense, right? Let's see if I'm right. Boink! It's just time for a boss fight! Yup. Versus the Ice Dragon, and he is mini as fuck! Ow! You bitch! He literally froze my party members! Wow, a well, fuck you then! Ice Dragon, 24,400 HP. Wow. Obviously, he's weak to fire. Whoa! Oh, you was a bitch! But yeah, you can melt that ice with some fire. Let me melt your icy pie. Now, there is some, there is a meaning to this, why I want you guys to equip um, Phantom. Assuming I can get to my turn, thanks. All right, now, Phantom, do it. All right, now, after this, use the Berserk spell on the Ice Dragon. <laughs> Don't mean shit. Hey yo, what the fuck? Whoa! Dude, are you serious? Wow, go fuck yourself! Wow, that plan worked out well, did it? Bruh. So this is how I'm gonna die, huh? Getting absolute zeroed while I'm still frozen? That's some bullshit. That is really bullshit right there. All right, guess I have to try this fight over again. All right, viewers, now the ice thawed out eventually. Thank Arceus. Now let's do what I was planning. Uh Bruh. Ah! Whew, that's cold. Berserk. What? Damn thing didn't even fucking work. What I was planning on. Uh, I got him. <laughs> wow. Okay, now I had to improvise the fuck out of that battle. Holy shit. Well, for winning, we get a four shield. Nice. Four dragons remain. Oh, my freaking Arceus. That, that, that fight could have started out way better if my plan had worked out, but, well, <laughs> there you go, viewers. What I was planning was having Phantom on, so that way, 
I can have somebody cast a berserk spell on the ice dragon. The ice dragon would have been berserked and just constantly steady, um, just kept on physical attacking me. Similar to how I utilized the berserk strategy with um, Shinryu in Final Fantasy V. But, you know, I mean, it worked out in the end. So, fuck it. In any case, we get the force shield. Just like the force armor, it's a shield. Well, I guess it's different than that. It's a shield that has damage from multiple elements. And it automatically casts shell on the wearer. Not bad. Not bad. Um, let me give that to Strago. There we go. Not bad at all. And it gives him shell. That's sexy. Alright, now that we got that out the way. The wow, the bucket and the save point are still here. That's nice. Alright, I might as well take advantage of this. I would say hashtag on Fefe, but nah, nah, not today. Alright, moving on. Let's see, yep, we're back on the cliff again. Uh, the Frozen Esper is still here? I would think this thing would have been, like, obliterated in the Cataclysm, but, meh. Um, I guess he's just chilling here? Hey, <laughs> get it? Chilling? Uh, uh-oh. Crap. It's time for a boss fight versus Valakarmanda. Now, we are literally fighting the Frozen Esper. The Esper that literally started the game for us. That got us introduced to Terra's abilities. Yes. 30,000 HP. He is me to fire. So, Fireaga, Fyra, eh? You guys know the drill at this point. Whew. But yeah, that being the case. Get some fire raga action up in this bitch. I'm not sure if that fight with the ice. Well, then again, I, I never even got to show it off. Then. But the dra the dragon horn made Mugs jump go like four times. It is super strong. Thank you to my subscriber that recommends me equip it. That was awesome. Fucking awesome. Well, yeah, outside of, uh, outside of that, this Frozen Esper is weak as shit at this point. Especially if you've been doing level work. Man, I got Grasp? Fuck off with that shit. Yoink! <laughs> I killed them off with, like, 33 damage! 33 damage! Wow. Humans broke my seal of ice. Humans who possess magicites. What are you? I suppose that's of little consequence. But what of this devastation that fills the air? Could the war of the magi have lasted a thousand years? You... How long have you been frozen, dude? That foolish, unending war. Hmm? You would seek to put an end to it? Then I shall put my trust in you. Alright, we finally get its es we finally get this fucking esper. We get the Valakarmanda Magicite. Voice. Ah! Uh, uh, oh. I guess the I guess the frozen esper was basically preventing that cliff from falling off. Huh. Well, there you go. Yay! Now, the frozen esper's magicite. Oh, it is super sexy. It's basically Tritok. I, I, now that I think about it, I think its name was Tritok back in the uh, original port. But yeah, Tri Disaster. You guys remember that bold summon from Final Fantasy VII? What's the name? Kajata, I think it was. Did like a fire, ice, and lightning combo on all enemies. Yeah, it's ba this is basically that. But you know, the prototype. But yeah, um, Fire Raga, Lizaga, and Thundaga. But at a times one acquisition rate. But like I said, you can learn these very easily if you grind at the Dino Forest. So it really doesn't matter. That being said, though, it opened up a path here. Might as well. Who want it? Yoink! Uh, ooh. The Yeti's Cave? Alright, looks like we're here. Hmm. We got a shit ton of monsters in here too. 
and a lot of them are very shitty. Viewers, watch out for one particular monster, the Tumberry. Yes, our old friend the Tumberry is in this cave. 8,000 HP. Now, you can learn the Traveler Blue Magic spell from him if you did not get it earlier. He's weak to fire and lightning. Outside of him, the, um, the, the other monsters in this cave are trash. They barely have enough HP to even warrant even me mentioning them. But the only one that is worth mentioning here is the Tumberry. Because you know the Tumberry is a dangerous fucker. He ain't no bitch. He's like a literal thug. He will cut your fucking ass. That's that's how that's how terrible and creepy he is. Duh. But that being the case, viewers. Um, who am I gonna quit this magic site to? I need to start getting I need to get to work on it. Uh, Strago, how you doing? He's close to learning Free Rise. I'll have to I'll have to equip it later. Oh well, that being said though. But yeah, now we go through this section. Luckily, this part of the cave is not too terrible. Um, let's see. If memory serves, these little um, darkened spots here are holes, trap holes, literally. I'm not falling into them. Unless there's one I needed to. Yoink! What the fuck? Bruh, no! I mean, I was trying to avoid these guys, but apparently they say, <laughs> Encounter code? What encounter code? What is this encounter code of which you see? No. We have monsters and chests, of course they can avoid that. Snowman Rato! <laughs> what the fuck was that supposed to be? They got holy too? Wow. Thuggish monsters with holy magic. Now I've seen it all. Okay, hurry the fuck up already! You're in my way! Tara, get them out of here, please! You're creeping me out! Alright! Yeah. They should be done! Whoa! Get them out of here! Fire God damn! Fucking A! Minigames for defeating them, we get the Minerva Bursty ass! Nice. If memory serves, that is a female only body armor. I think. Uh, let me see. Yep, yep, it is. It is. So, well, there you go. Huh. Congrats, Tara. Congrats. And I guess all the other ladies. Makes me wonder if Strago can equip it, though. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, uh, obviously, he can't. But then again, considering he's able to equip the tabby suit, a cat suit, mind you. You know what? Never mind. Never mind. In any case, the Minerva Bursley 8 is fucking sexy, though. It's a breastplate that blocks damage from multiple elements. So it's kind of like the Force Shield in that instance. Force Shield has damage from multiple elements. Whereas this blocks damage from multiple elements. And it provides a 25% boost to maximum MP. So, really good for the ladies. And viewers, notice that we get three. You notice that? Yes. Three for the three female party members. Terra, Celeste, Realm. Yeah, this is not a coincidence. Oh, rather, no, this is this is perfectly a coincidence. What the fuck am I saying? Well, there you go. Oh, viewers, I forgot. Um, while I was doing some grinding in the Dino Forest, I've met one of those um Brontosaur monster things I mentioned last time. Fought his ass, and I managed to get a Celestrad from him. Basically, it reduced MP cost of magic to one. It is fucking amazing. It's amazing, viewers. Ah! Of course, they would put a trap door right there, wouldn't they? Like, right where the treasure chest is? Yeah, that's no accident. Oh, well. Get a gauntlet. Wait a minute. Isn't the gauntlet a... Wait. It allows one weapon to be held by both hands. Oh, okay. <laughs> Knights do it two-handed, bitch. No, no. That being said, though, all right, we got that. Now we're at the part of the cave in which is, is kind of annoying. Let's see. 
beyond that, there is a X Ether here, but if I don't get it, fuck it. Um, uh-oh. Which one should I press? Let's find this. Let's find out. Yoink! Uh, uh, I'm fine, I made it! Nice! <laughs> I wasn't even looking at my notes right there. Simple luck of the draw, viewers. Simple luck of the draw. Alright, now then. Let's get going. What's this? It's kind of skull stand? It's just like a carving. Like a bone? Is that thing stuck in its eye socket? Magicite? Huh. Was the Yeti using this as some, as some kind of crystal? Crystal eye? Matoya? No, no, not Matoya. Uh, uh yeah, mine as well. Yoink! He won't need it! <laughs> Alright, we get to make our song or magicite! Nice. Uh oh. Big Brother's watching you, bitch! Ah! It's time for a boss fight! Versus the Yeti! Yeah, we get to literally fight the big dude. Ow! Aren't you among friends? Why are you attacking him? Huh, whatever. And in any case, the Yeti, 17,200 HP. He's with the fire! And poison. So, there you go. But who gives a fuck about poison? Just fire Raga his ass. <laughs> That's all you really gotta do. And then there's Snowstorm. Which is basically trash. <laughs> Yeti used tackle attack. It's not very effective, bitch! <laughs> and it'll never be. that transform max damage then again why am i shocked at this this is Terra after all she's too op for this wild so dude um sorry i had to kick your ass like that but you shouldn't just go attacking people right up front you know hello i'm your boss koopo you're gonna join us koopo damn mug i didn't know you were such a savage I'm your boss, bitch! Huh. The Yeti's all like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Please don't hurt me. A Yeti with a love for bone carving. Stronger than a Gigas, but a bit unruly. <laughs> pretty much. Yumaro. That's a pretty nice name, though. Yumaro. I like that. I like that. All right, new party member. Nice. Oh, yeah, I forgot I have to press the actual uh, enter button. <laughs> Alright, yeah, the Yeti guy we've been seeing throughout the game in Narsh Mines? Yeah, we finally got him. Me, Yumoro. Yes, boss, me join you. Yumoro, no slouching, Koopo. Alright. Oh, me wait, big flying ship. Uh, okay, dude. <laughs> Yeah, might as well. Whew, all right. Oh! Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the cave entrance that we saw Mug Peep, or rather, Yamaro peeking out of earlier. Cool. Well, viewers, we got Yamaro, and we got Mug back, and we got a shit ton of sexy treasure in our return to Narsh. Now that we're done Narsh, there is the matter of that other person that we saw in that achievement. Some kind of weird person with a whole bunch of rags on, on his or her face. I wonder who that person is. Well, let's go see if we can find that person next time. You guys enjoy it, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for gaming vids from me. And of course, when you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell so you know to find my newest uploads. You got something to say? Of course you do. Leave a comment, duh. Till next time, dudes and dudettes, Mike from Rage Break Gaming. I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. Smile you later.